Hello, my name is Peter Averich. I'm one of the lead developers on the Safehouse project and in this video I'm going to show you just how easy it is to use Safehouse Explorer with USB memory sticks. I'm starting out here showing you what the end result is. You're looking at Windows Explorer with uh, two files there. On the left hand side is safehouseexplorer.exe that's the small 5 megabyte Safehouse Explorer program file and on the right is my Safehouse private storage vault that uh, right now you'll see that's a 100 megabyte protected storage file. It's all encrypted, locked up, and secure. What we want to end up with when we're done is having two files on your memory stick just like this. What we're going to do is, uh, in this video, is show you just exactly how you go about doing that. So to start with, I'm going to delete these files just so we can start with a clean slate here. And I'll just minimize this. And I'm going to pop into an existing copy of Safehouse Explorer that I've already got running and you'll see that I've got a volume open with some files there. This particular volume happens to reside on my C drive and when I'm done I want to end up with a copy of this volume on my memory stick. So before we can start copying any files and volumes over we need to make sure that everything is closed. So I'm going to close this volume right now and now I'm going to go over to the tools menu where I can find this copy files to memory stick. This makes it real easy. You can do some of the same stuff with Windows Explorer, but we've made this uh, really simple for you by putting this tool together. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that this box right here is checked, and that way we'll know that we'll get a copy of Windows, I mean of Safehouse Explorer onto our memory stick. And we optionally have the uh, choice to also move over a volume, and it defaults to the last volume that was used, which is that safehouse.sdsk file that I've got there. Next, you'll find that it's already found my memory stick here. I could have also selected a different drive, or if I've had multiple memory sticks, I can choose the one I want. But this is what I want, uh, drive F. And now all I have to do is hit Start. And everything will be just be copied over for me. Nothing else to have to know. This will take about a minute, so I'm going to skip forward through the magic of screen capture. Okay, we've just finished up here. I'm going to close this. And we're done with this copy of Safehouse Explorer, so I'm going to shut that down as well. Now I'm going to pop over back to my memory stick, and you'll see now that we have our two files back, just the way we started. All I need to do now is click on my safehouseexplorer.exe file, go to Open Volume, select my, memory, my private vault, type in my password, And there's my files, exactly the way we uh, left off and where we wanted to get to. This is using, you know, how easy it is to use Safehouse Explorer with memory sticks. It doesn't get any simpler than that. So I'll just close this out and close this out. And we're all done here. Thank you for watching.